What's up everyone? Welcome to Director Discovery and I am Nicholas Clayton Lee. Today I got my hands on these three fabulous Chanel bags. But before I start, I'd like to remind you to please subscribe to my channel and maybe leave a comment because I love reading what you guys have to say. Anyway, let's get into it. These are obviously not for me, but I was lucky enough to get my hands on them. These are actually very hard to get. You have to be on the VIP and there's a huge wait list on them because these just came out last week. These are from the 2021 Spring Summer Pre-Collection. And the first one I have right here is one of the small vanity with chain. This bag is made with caviar leather with the left side speaker having the Chanel logo while the other side has a leather strap. Of the three bag, this is the smallest one, but it is the only one with a small handle on top. And the bag obviously has Chanel's signature chain and leather woven strap. And my next one is also called Small Vanity with Chain because all three of them are actually called that. I guess they just have a different SKU number. But this one's actually my favorite one of the three because of this more unique shape. I believe this cylinder shaped bag is made with lambskin leather. The zipper have leather straps on them with the left side having a short chain on it with the Chanel logo. Chanel's signature chain and leather woven strap is pierced through the top of this bag. And last but not least, this small vanity with chain is similar to the first one but it has a huge pearl on top and the pearl has a Chanel logo on it. This bag is also made with caviar leather and boasts a shorter chain and leather woven strap than the others, limiting you to only holding it. This is the only bag that contains a lipstick holder in it, while the others are just empty inside. So normally, I wouldn't mind mauling for fashion products, but I'm not gonna be doing it for these. <laughs> so instead, I'm gonna be giving them a test to see how much things I can put inside them. And these are things that I think that a lot of girls might have when they go out. The first one includes a lip balm, maybe a lipstick for a girl, uh, a concealer, an eyeliner. These are two things that I actually have. These are actually all the things that I own um, because sometimes when you go out to events, you want to look nicer. The eyeliner is actually very hard to put on, but a lot of Asian guys actually have these in movies or TV shows. Uh, you'll notice it if you look very closely. Um, it actually makes your eyes stand out more, apparently. <laughs> Powder to make everything look more even. Hand lotion. This might be a little big, but I think a lot of girls have them when they go out. House keys, car keys, credit card, and driver's license. Anyway, let's see what I can put into them. I can see a lot of them failing already, <laughs> but we'll see. So technically, none of them actually passed the test because none of them fit the lotion and eyeliner. The first one could just about fit everything besides those two items. The second one was able to fit everything except the lotion and eyeliner, but still had a lot of space remaining. But due to the shape of the bag, you may be limited. The last one was similar to the first one, but with a bit more room remaining. So as you guys can see, these actually can't carry that many things, just the main essentials, I guess. But at the end of the day, you still need your other hand just to carry your huge ass phone. So if you guys are fine with that, I think these look so cute. Uh, I guess it's perfect for going out on dates or just going clubbing with them. It just seems like Chanel is coming out with smaller and smaller bags every year, so. Anyway, these both cost $2,175 Canadian. That's around $1,700 US. This one costs $2,025 Canadian. That's around $1,600 US. Are they worth it? I'm a guy, so I can't really tell you. But I think a lot of girls will actually love carrying one of these going out on dates. It is very cute. And I think they do match a lot of things. Um, but yeah, <laughs> sorry, just the leather of these actually smells really good. I've been pretty high all day. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments below. 
And if you'd like to follow me on my journey to discover more random products, places, and restaurants, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks and I'll see you guys next time.